Okay, so let's take a really quick look at the Foxia Aero Micro V2. This little, tiny little fellow here. To put this in the right perspective, this is the HS1177 from Foxia and this is the micro cam here they brought out. The connectors, I love how they are just standard plus, minus and video and then OSD and the voltage sensor. It either takes the voltage from the VCC line or from the ex extra V sensor line. So if you just have a three wire cable it's okay. It gets it off there. But if you can use the VSEN to directly go to your flight battery to measure the volts more accurately. Here in the background I already did my usual measurements whereas you see the yellow line is the light coming up. These are the two pile frames which are completely black and they are completely well lit and you see that only a few milliseconds 6.5 milliseconds that's the best case scenario if I repeat this a few times my switch on signal could also be here in the beginning of the black frame so we have to wait at least 80 milliseconds till the next frame but this shows you that even if I switch it on at almost the end of a PAL frame the next is already bright so this is really like no no low no latency from the cam at all. I mean, 5 or 6 milliseconds are none. So, that's really an improvement. Um, of course, I should also demonstrate Which just looks good for such a tiny cam. I'm not sure if I would use this on a regular sized quad, but if you really tight on the space of your quad, go for these tiny little cams. They do get quite warm. Something that concerns me a bit, but not too much. Okay, so obviously the colors are really, really bright and nice. Light changes are okay, fast, but I can tell you this camera gets hot, so not totally sure about the heat dissipation here. I mean, it's it looks like a metal frame, but it's quite hot. Yeah, that's my setup, my test setup, by the way. And that's, by the way. Um, what I do most of the times when I supply power to this thing here, I only give it three of the four cells of a four cell battery. And now if you want to see on the OSD display of this camera here, if you want to see your true flight voltage, then it's a better idea to use this VSEN cable here, voltage sensor, and go with this voltage sensor directly to something, to this red cable here or to something on your copter that supplies the true main flying volts. If this is the case then the camera OSD takes this as your voltage. Yeah and my test setup as always is this box which evolved a bit. I have the switch here. I have my probe to the line to the yellow line and the other probe goes to the video line. And with this and with this tape here 
I can make it almost totally black to have a more drastic change even. Okay, so but that, that's kind of boring stuff. Back to the cam. The maybe interesting stuff is that they for some reason sent me three, no, they sent me four of them. But the first uh, that I got, which I'm using at the moment, this here, it's kind of faulty. So their initial problem was that the voltage display, which is yeah, one of the best options in my, in my opinion, the voltage uh, would be updated so fast that you couldn't read it normally. I mean, here I'm on fixed 5 volts now and it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, if the voltage changes, it changes too fast. So this firmware on this model is faulty. On the new cams, they fixed this. So the update rate is better now. So if you buy this, make sure it has the newest possible firmware. Uh, but I'm sorry, I don't know how to check this. So that this number doesn't update as fast as the early models. But yeah, it's just a minor point. And I've seen it uh, on this Aussie reviewer channel. I think it's UAV Future, UAV something. I will link you. He had a review where you see this fast changing voltage, which is really not nice. So there you go. This is the kind of faulty one. And you see the flickering of the voltage here. I mean, if you fly, the voltage changes all the time. Right now, when the battery is just sitting here, it doesn't change too much. But you see how ugly fast it updates. And this is not desired. But because in flight, you really can't read the, the comma value because it's changing so often. So they did change this in a software update. This here is the faulty one. This is the newer software. And the newer software, yeah. It also changes the comma values fast, or quite fast, but not nearly as fast as the previous model. One thing that I want to test with the firmware change, if the latency wasn't affected negatively. Yeah, and something that concerns me a bit here is when I take samples, I see that the I mean, this frame is a bit higher than this, so there's also some change to me and the other cam. The other cam would have, if I switch on that late in the frame, the next would be completely bright and not this lower thing here. So we have to conclude that with their firmware change, it looks like the latency has increased to around 30 milliseconds from the cam. I mean, that's not too much, but at least that's something. And I did repeat this test over and over again. Yeah, and it's at least one whole pile frame missing. But other than this, as you see, they sent me three new ones and I also have, so I have four of these. I can give away at least two of these to you guys, but yeah, since I got them, I have to ship them and I have to pay for shipping. So you better be close to me. Uh, maybe I can ship this as a letter and I want you guys to only, I mean, it's not a proper giveaway something. I uh, just want my regular viewers to have some benefit. So if you're a regular viewer and on a really low budget like a student or yeah, just can't spend that much for this expensive hobby, let me know in the comments uh, and let me know why you should be the one to get one of these two. And yeah, then we get in touch and I can send this to you guys. So I want to give away those two. And I also will not announce this in the thumbnail to not attract those giveaway hunters. It should be really you guys uh, that watch my channel and help and support me. Yeah, but back to the cam. What else do we have in the box? This uh, not so nice board style uh, OSD 
I prefer the little joystick thingy, but it's okay. And some cables and some mounting screws, but no really mounting hardware. Let's just view the things it says in the box. 600 TV lines. It's a 2.1 millimeter lens. It's a CCD, which is why it's so low on latency. 5 to 40 volts, that's a lot. IR blocked and PAL. PAL versus NTC. Yeah, I really don't mind too much. NTC would be a few milliseconds faster, but yeah, that's okay. PAL has the better resolution, so anyways. Okay, I hope you liked this quick kind of improvised look on this camera. Hope you liked this quick review. I just wanted to get this review out faster. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. I really love to read from you guys in the comments. See you there. Bye for now.